I'm gonna expose you. Before we continue with the third episode of this Doom Buggy, I have to address some of the comments on the first episode. There was one guy who said, the proportions of your study are not good. Why not make the video series regarding the frame presented at 2120, which is this one, which is one to one exactly what I have used here. And I could not agree with this user more because I think for this series to make sense for you is better to just do what I do so you can add the accessories and the components in the future videos. Remember, this is not a beginner video. This is an advanced topic. It's about 3D sketching, it's about weldments. Let's begin. Let me get comfortable. I'm working with millimeters, MMGS units, just in case. Okay, those of you who are paying attention, listen to what I'm saying. This is the chassis that I have released on the first episode of this Doom Buggy. So if you are not sure how the end result looks like, or you would like to see the final result, I'm going to put the link below this video and you can go and check that out. There. Now let me focus, please. If you're not understanding what's happening, let me just give you a preview of what I have done so far. I mean, in a second, just be patient, please. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm working on one half of the chassis this time because one person asked me why i didn't do that i said sure if you want me to do it that way i'll do it that way does this mean this is the better way maybe <laughs> maybe it is i don't know because usually i would like to see my final result oh let's not talk let's not talk Now let's round some of the sharp edges that we have here and just notice something. I connected this, this, I connected this to the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. So let's just get rid of them. Yeah, it can happen quite often in 3D sketches when I, or when you round your lines, it's better to do it just one or two at a time and click OK. So if there is any issue that is rising up, you know where to look. Just look what happened here. What was connected to that that just caused this to happen?
Oh god! Annoying! Annoying! When I add the sketch fillet, it just extends my sketch because that line was 600 equal to the length of this entity over here. So it just is pushing it up. One way to fix this, or the only way I can think of is just select that line, which was getting all its equal length and etc. Remove those equations, push it back to underdefined state and reduce it to something smaller. I hope you are with me so far. I know it's not the cleanest or easiest topic. That's why it's not a beginner level, but I hope you can. You have been able to follow me to this level. <sighs> God, I hate that. Let's continue with the rest and then I'll come back, fix that. Oh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Hmm. I don't feel like, okay. Anyway, continue with the rest. Don't get disheartened. When I work in the split view, my movement is limited. So it gives you more control over the movement of each entity and point. This line should not have any parallel ZX relation. So it goes, I can move it up. Yep, this should be what you get at this point, more or less, more, more than more or less. More or less, this is okay. We keep it at this level. You go to Time to add the profiles. We are at minute 37, structural member. Try to choose ANSI pipe around, pipe, st pipe standard S40. And let's see if this size is okay. Yeah, 1.25 if you have it, which I think you do, you can pick it.
Now this is much closer to what we saw and I'm gonna insert it as promised in the beginning of the video to the assembly. Look at this, look at this, what is this? Let's see if we can actually get rid of these and sorry, trim it. Yeah, we did some trimming there. That's happened. Yeah. We have to keep welding this part. <laughs> okay, to fix this, I have to go back and edit my 3D sketch because look at, this is causing this, okay? This connection over here is causing this. To fix it, I have to go back and I just don't want to, if I'm being honest with you, because it's so slow. But since I'm doing this for you and I have to teach you this, I think I will go back. We have the same ugly junction here but let's do something i will come back and fix it if you promise to stay to the end of the video with me but i'm gonna change the color so i can insert it into the assembly over here and see how much of difference i have just caused there okay now we can compare these two no panels please no panel no panel no tires, no tires, no tires, no tires, and no tire. Right, so first of all, the piping I have, the original, the white one is thicker. Some of the angles are different. Changing the pipe, the weldments on the red chassis we just made is not difficult. I can do that in a second. In fact, let's not enough talking, more doing. Come back here, edit this and change the pipe. I wish I read what was used in the other one. Let's just go slightly thicker on all of them. Right, that's more or less. I can I can make it even thicker, but let's just see. Some of the dimensions are off. It's a different chassis, okay? It's a very close, slightly different chassis with similar functions. I can more or less connect every component on the upper and lower control arms to the red chassis we just made. Some of the components, internal components like the steering wheel and all, they have to change. You know one thing I can do? I will put the white chassis that I'm working on for download for you. Just go in the description below. I'm gonna put a link. I am going to add this to my mini course, which is a free course right now. Just enter your email sign up go inside the course if you move to the dlc's the downloadable content i'm gonna put the chassis there for you to download but do your own version please it does help you however if you want to just do it one-to-one -one like me go download this chassis take advantage of the free course and the support that comes in the community and you can just stay there as long as you want learn it ask your questions you can even talk to me and my team members and improve your software skills because i assume that's what you're here to do go ahead and do that in the previous video on the second episode i talked about creating the shocks how to create the dynamic spring i'm gonna add the shocks there too to download but the other components like the upper and lower control arm we're gonna have to do them in a different episode it's important for me to know how many people would like to see contents like this so if you want me to add more episodes just comment it okay please comment it below let me know all right thank you very much like and share this video and don't forget to go ahead and get your mini course link in the description below i'll see you inside that course or in the next episode okay if you want to watch the first episode of this doom buggy series click on the video on the left and if you want to watch the next episode click on the video on the right on the center it takes you to the mini course